Do you hear that? That's the sound of the government coming to tax your retirement accounts. There is an old saying in accounting, the tax code is written in pencil. I am sure if you're watching this, you are doing a great job saving for your future and you're looking to keep as much of it as possible. You see, if you go back through history, whenever we the people do a great job at saving for retirement, Congress finds a way to modify the tax code to bail them out for all the excessive spending. And where do they look for funding? Your nice, fat retirement account. What is the secret to future tax-free income? I'm about to give you the blueprint. The earlier you take advantage of your planning, the better. Now the tax code actually includes several moves you can make right now to create tax-free retirement income, but the optimal window may only last until 2026. And no matter what your age, planning now for a future of tax-free income is smart. New tax laws can change in a heartbeat and derail your retirement planning when you can least afford it. So let's do our best to stay one step ahead and not bury our heads in the sand. This is part two of the series, how to create a 100% tax-free income in retirement, using current tax brackets to create tax-free income. There isn't much time to position yourself, so let's dive in. Colin X will be here and I provide financial planning for business owners and their families that just make sense. I own the financial advisory practice Celestial Wealth Management and provide advice virtually to clients all over the country. One of the optimal tax strategies that many people miss during their working years should be to allocate the ideal amount of funds to the taxable, tax deferred, and tax free buckets so that during your retirement, all your income is tax-free or as close to it as possible. Ideal amounts? What do you mean by ideal amounts? Well, this is a good spot to point out important disclosures. The information in this video is for educational purposes. This is not specific financial planning or investment advice. In addition, everyone's tax situation is different. You should discuss your tax situation with a qualified tax advisor before implementing any planning strategy. Here's the good news. With proper planning, you can do it. You can create a 100% tax-free retirement income. But you want to plan now so that you optimize the ideal amount of money you have in a traditional pre-tax retirement plan, tax-free retirement plans, health savings accounts, and non-retirement accounts. So how do we efficiently keep our retirement income as low as possible? Well, first, we take advantage of the tax rates today before they are gone. Many people just don't realize how low tax rates are right now, but we can look back through history to give us some perspective. Before I actually looked up these rates, I too didn't really realize how low current rates really are. While today's top rate is 37%, many of us pay just 22, 12, or even 10%. This chart shows the top federal income tax rate by year going back to 1913. Look at the rates from 1941 through 1963. The top rates were over 80% and most were over 90%. Now you might say, well, that's just not me. That's only for the mega wealthy. Well, guess what? The other brackets were much higher as well. Right now, we have the lowest rates since 1992. The 2017 Tax Cuts and Jobs Act created some of the lowest tax rates for Americans in history, but they will not last forever. To create a tax-free income in retirement, it's important to understand where tax rates were, where we currently are, and where the sweet spot is. So let's take a look at these two charts side by side. The chart on the left shows the tax rates in 2017. The chart on the right shows the tax rates in 2022. For the purpose of this discussion, I am going to focus on the married couple rates that are in the middle. What you see is that for most Americans, once you exceed the 10% tax bracket, current tax rates are lower. 
The former 15% tax bracket is currently 20% lower at 12% of taxable income. The former 25% bracket is 12% lower at 22% of taxable income. The former 28% bracket is currently 14% lower at 24% of taxable income, and even the former 33% bracket is 5% lower at 32%. It isn't until you get to the 35% tax bracket that the advantage goes away. But what is really interesting is the changes to the income levels that allow you to be in certain tax brackets. What I want to focus on are the two large jumps in the tax rates, from 12% up to 22% and from 24% up to 32%. These are the big jumps to be aware of when creating your strategy. Let's take a moment to talk about the difference between income and taxable income. Most people roughly know what their income is, but they don't really know what their taxable income is. Taxable income is the income you are taxed on. Well, geez, that makes sense. It is the income after all of your deductions. This is an important number and can be much lower than your gross income. Also, in this country, we have what is called a graduated tax system. As you move into a higher bracket, you don't pay that higher rate on all of your income. The only income that is taxed at that higher rate is the income above the previous bracket. You know what is not taxed? That little like button. Likes are free, so make sure you hit that little like button, and of course, smash that subscribe button, hit that little bell so you know when I release a new financial planning video in the series. All right, now we are gonna look at the tax rates for married couples, and if you're single, get married. Which, <laughs> just kidding. But tax rates are much better if you are married, so maybe consider it. If you're single, the same principles apply, but you move into higher brackets at lower income levels. For the married couple, the first $83,550 of taxable income is only taxed at 12%. Once you have over $83,550 of taxable income, you don't move into the 24% bracket until you reach roughly $178,000 of taxable income. Compare that to the 2017 brackets when the income threshold for moving into that 24% bracket was a much, much lower $153,000. You know what's really wild? Well, wild for probably me and some CPAs who love this tax stuff, but it is interesting. Let's look at the difference between the current 24% bracket and the 32% bracket, the next big jump. Until you make roughly $340,000 of taxable income, you are still in the 24% bracket. Compare that to 2017. You can see that you jump into the 33% bracket at only $233,000. That's a $100,000 difference. It's a huge difference and is the largest sweet spot in the tax code. So why is this so important to understand? This tax law is set to be in place until 2026. If Congress can't agree to extend them, and let's be honest, they can't agree on a lot right now, they go right back to the 2017 rates. And what if Congress decides to accept the current Biden tax proposal? Well, then tax rates could be even higher than that. In my opinion, it is a good bet that for now, tax rates are as good as they are going to get. You either use them or you lose them. Protect yourself now from the revenue-starved Congress. Eventually, we will have to pay for all of this borrowing, and the low-hanging fruit is your tax-deferred retirement accounts. Trust me, the last thing you want is to diligently save for all of these years and then lose to the tax man a huge amount of those savings. In the coming years, it's my opinion that taxes may rise significantly, potentially derailing the retirement plans of many people. But I believe the strategies in this video series can help you be prepared. All right, now that we know what provisional income is from part one of this series and what tax rates currently are, we have the rules to craft your strategy for a tax-free retirement income. What can you do to prepare yourself? Watch this video next. 
part three of this series, how to create a 100% tax-free income in retirement. And let's discover the optimal amount to have in tax-deferred retirement accounts like 401ks, 403bs, and IRAs. Just click on the screen to watch the video next. Get clear, be clear.